into the bus why are you standing there get in it's getting late hey sonali move over will you let me sit next to you shanta vimla come here there is enough place why are you standing there hi sonali what are you doing alone anita she is not even answering me She seems to be troubled. Look, Vimla, how serious she is. Yes. Hey, Sonali, what is it? No, nothing. There is nothing to say. There is definitely something that's troubling you. Tell us, Sonali. Come on, we are your friends. Nothing. I am very much confused. That's all. Confused? Why are you confused? Let us know the reason. My birthday will be on next Thursday. Daddy has promised me that he will get me a new wrist watch tomorrow. I'm wondering which one to buy. The more I think about it, the more confused I become. What's there to get confused about? Haven't you heard? Have a time of your life. Have a time of your life. Buy H&T watches. What do you say to that, Vimla? Sonali, here is something better than that. Have you seen the advertisement for Alvin watches? Time for the new generation sensation Alvin watches. I love Titan Quartz watches. They are so beautiful. Listen to me Sonali and buy a Titan Quartz. This is exactly the reason for my confusion. Three friends singing three different advertisements. Too many advertisements around. Each one impresses you and you change your mind accordingly. Yes. I agree. Same thing happened to me, you know. For my pimples, Granny used to nag me, "Don't apply soap. Don't apply soap. Use only basin." My mother believes in using a paste of tulsi, sandal, and turmeric. What are you talking about? Who has the time for all that nowadays? Best thing for curing pimples is clear soap. Is not messy like basin and doesn't involve the trouble of preparing the paste. My sister uses it. But which one is effective? How do I decide? Should I listen to elders or to the advertisements? Listen to the advertisements. The people who manufacture these things give knowledge regarding them in the advertisements. That did not solve my problem. I knew about the different varieties of products by these advertisements. They are everywhere. Yes, they are everywhere. Magazines, newspapers, radio, television and also in theaters. Look Even the roads have the hoardings on either side. Manufacturers do spend a lot to advertise. Naturally, they want to attract more and more people to buy so that their sales and profits go up. It is all because of these advertisements. They are confusing me all the more. What shall I do? Who will help me? You cannot blame the advertisements. You have to make up your own mind. Hey Sonali, your stop is come. Now make up your mind fast and get down. Bye sir, I will see you. Bye everybody. Oh my goodness. I have forgotten something. Hmm. What is it? Ha. Huh, I remember. Mummy had asked me to buy toothpaste and tea for auntie who is coming today. Thank God I remembered. I'll go to the shop before I forget. Yes madam what do you want I want a tube of toothpaste quarter kg tea powder mm -mm, and ha huh, a bar of chocolate Which toothpaste there are so many in the market you better tell me the names 
I can't make up my mind. I better ask my mother. Sona, why are you late? Go, wash and change your dress. Tea is ready for you. Where are the things? Mummy, I didn't know which one to buy. I am really confused. I came back to ask you. So you have wasted your time. Why couldn't you buy the first one you saw? Is that right, Mummy? Our teacher says that we should think well before taking a decision. Sona, look here. I don't have time to discuss or argue with you. One thing is sure. You haven't helped me in this matter. Now, I'll have to go myself. What have I done? It is not very easy to buy the right thing nowadays. Yes, I understand your dilemma. But what are you going to do? It is better if I ask my teacher tomorrow. What is it, Sonali? You seem to be troubled. Sir, my mummy sent me to buy a few things from the market. I was unable to take a decision yesterday. The fun is that I could not even select a bar of chocolate to eat. There are so many of them available in the market. Moreover, I have to decide on a watch to be bought today. Sonali, there are two ways of going about it. One way is you imitate what the majority does. That is, buy the most popular thing because you cannot decide on your own and you don't want to make a mistake. Is that the right thing to do? No, I don't think it is right. It is a blind choice based on other people's ideas. I want to think on my own. Then there is another way. Keep yourself informed of all the latest things available. Watch the advertisements to find out if the particular brand is suited to you and your way of life. Also consider if you can afford it. Then buy. This is the intelligent way. Then, following the advertisements is the right way. Mm, not always. Some advertisers ask you to take a particular brand of tablet every time you have a headache or a cold. Only you can find out what suits you and your kind of body. Gradually, you learn to make intelligent choices. Does this apply to all other things needed in life? Your parents, friends and persons whom you admire always influence you. The influence of your classmates on you is so strong that you would hesitate to be different from them. You don't want them to laugh at you or make fun of you. But you are strong inwardly and learn to be independent of others. You will soon lose your fear of others and perhaps you will be a happier person for it. Thank you, sir. I want to take decisions on my own but I will make intelligent choices. <laughs> <laughs>